to make the individual stamens and this part which is the filament part and this is the anther cap on the top so probably about there and then I want it to finish just about there and make sure that the paste is really nice and and soft and I'm going to start from the bottom and then taper all the way down to that other mark so just by pushing this onto the wire and that's my starting point here where the black mark is so really stick this on first of all take a bit more corn flour so I'm going to hold my fingers on here I'm going to roll and start pulling at the same time and putting more pressure and more pressure but it wants to be like a very thin carrot and just letting it roll away what this is going to do is it's going to start to make a central vein down the middle you don't want it to bend really and then you're going to then pinch gently towards the base there so it kind of wraps around a little bit and then you're going to go thinner 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 I'm going to put my pliers on and I'm going to bend this completely down yeah I only want to bend this wire then back that way so put my pliers on the end holding and then pushing this back straight back and that's what's known as a t-bar use a little bit of the Crisco or the Trex in one of the little cavities here for the anther cap and just knead this up make sure it's really nice and soft and then it's gonna get all of these fabulous details and then pushing that down inside the mold and then just taking the excess off place this on top and that will give you a really nice stamen is I will take some of my glue and I just need a small amount so I would do six of the filaments wait till they're dry then bend them all at the same time and then I would then make your little anther caps on the top and then I'm going to then push this then down inside but helping it with the pointed end of my Dresden tool and then I tend to use my tweezers to just kind of bring the excess paste oops, over the back of the wire that that really secures it inside I'm then going to then open this right out these are all of the natural markings from a real stamen so just taking some of my burnt orange dust I'm going to take some of my edible glaze the matte glaze and just release the cap there you just want a tiny tiny amount you don't want it to be too diluted and when that's dry it will then go directly the same as these 